Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bloody Jacob here. And I know I said before that it'd be at least a month or so before I would be getting my own webcam and, you know, uploading more videos. But, hey, uh, oh, I got some birthday money. It, well, it was my birthday, by the way. I turned 18 years old, a big 1-8. And, yeah, so I guess it's somewhat of a big deal. I'm a young adult, you know, uh, technically I'm legal now, so that's all well and good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, past all that nonsense for now, um, I did want to show you guys what I got for my birthday. Birthday is like, this is like a channel update slash what I got for my birthday video, I guess. Um, so well, for starters, I got about forty-five bucks worth of birthday money, which isn't too bad for the things I like to get. You know, like DVDs and different things like that most of the time. Now my brother sent me twenty bucks. Um, from Arkansas, and he also got me this Walking Dead magazine he found around, I guess. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, I love The Walking Dead, of course, so obviously I'm gonna enjoy flipping through this. There's a f few good interviews here. I mean, I think this is before season four started, or maybe it was like at the break right after Too Far Gone, the mid season finale, I'm guessing. He even has a good try of Daryl here. Yeah. Still getting used to the angles on this thing. But yeah, so it's, it has some pretty good interviews in it and some good shots. Some of the comic book stuff and the Telltale video games too. So it's pretty cool. Thanks, bro. Uh, and what I got from my parents is, all you guys know, Being Human on Sci-Fi is one of my favorite shows of all time. I could say my favorite show of all time, right up there with The Walking Dead at its best. But overall, I think Being Human was better, or at least more consistent with uh, how it went. But then again, you could kind of point that to like the showrunners constantly being s changed in The Walking Dead too, so uh, that obviously affected it. But uh, overall, I think Being Human is probably my favorite show of all time, but I could do a whole video talking about my favorite show of all time, so I won't go on too long about that, but what my parents did get me is the complete second and third seasons of Sci-Fi's Being Human, which you know, I'm really trying to get a hold of lately. I mean, I already have the first season. Uh, I got the first season quite a while ago, and so here's the second season. Very cool. I always like the covers for these. Of course, Aiden right here. And I'll show you the back. Incredible show. The second season could be my personal favorite season, but I'm going through the series again, so I'll be able to talk about that more later, once I get through it all again. But of course, season four, the final season, isn't coming out till next year, most likely. So I'm going to have to wait a while to watch that over again, but still, I'm pretty excited to be going through it. You know, it's always weird, you know, watching a show for that long and going back so far, and, you know, all these characters that were long dead, and... You know, it's just like a really weird thing, but then also it's really fun to watch. I'm addicted to the show all over again from the start. It's really, really something. And um, I gotta learn to look into the camera. That's what I gotta do here. But, uh, yeah, so there's season, the complete second season. And then here's the complete third season right here. The third season had a lot of good stuff in it, too. Uh, I remember thinking it's not quite as good as the second overall. But, uh, thinking about uh, all these uh, flashbacks we get of Aiden and his past life and how he originally got turned into a vampire, that really made it an incredible season just by that alone. So like I said, there's always something in a Being Human season that makes it great to me. And the uh, final two episodes of the season are really, really special too, in my opinion. With the whole Josh and Nora wedding and then the whole raw raw finale. And the whole Catherine Isabel involvement, you know, and Aiden's flashbacks and her showing up at the end, that was a great cliffhanger, you know, for going into season four. And, you know, and uh, season two had a great cliffhanger as well, you know, with the whole Aiden being buried and and then uh, the whole Ray thing, you know, there being like one or two shots fired out with Josh and Nora and Ray and then the screen cutting to black, that was great too. So yeah, all all of being humans incredible.
and I'm really happy to have these DVDs. You know, I, I sort of had to get them as like a way to pay respect to the show. You know, now that it's uh, actually over, you know, and things like that. And I sort of feel like I owe them that much. Um, but really, I love these characters. I love the show. So I'll, I'll probably always keep them with me. Keep them with me till I die. And uh, yeah, that's really all I got for my birthday. And I use my birthday money, for the most part, to get this webcam here. And uh, I have about roughly 12 bucks left over after that because the webcam ended up costing me around like uh, 31 bucks, I think. So it's really not too bad of a deal, honestly. You know, it's probably better than some webcams I could have gotten too. And you know, I'm sure it's cheaper than going to like a bigger retail store like a uh, Best Buy or something like that. And because I got this webcam from the same place I got the new computer here from. So, you know, I thought that made a little bit more sense. And it turned out I could actually hook up a, web a webcam too. I could actually do it myself, so that was great. I can do very, very simple tasks. So that's, that's fun to know. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, really, that's all I have to say for this video. And now that I have this webcam, you'll be seeing more videos from me very soon. And, I'll probably be doing a review on the Game of Thrones Season 4 finale uh, next Sunday. I'm really excited about that. And I just want to say the episode last night, The Watchers on the Wall with Jon Snow, even though we didn't get to see what was going on with Tyrion and King's Landing, uh, we did get to see an incredi incredible episode um, at The Wall with Jon Snow and the rest of the, rest of the Night's Watch defending against the wildlings and the giants and stuff. It was like a, a great, great scale. So... Yeah, it was really great to see it. Had a huge payoff, a couple of really good payoffs in my opinion. And yeah, I'm really excited about the finale next week with Tyrion and all that. So I'll catch you guys next time, but I'll probably be doing a video or a couple of videos before then. So I'll catch you guys next time, and uh, peace. <laughs>